Hello again, it's Cons, and today we are going to be doing a comprehensive look at how the health augment works in Iceborne. Things are slightly different now, uh, at least in terms of upgrading and in terms of getting the augments, and the augment system as a whole has been overhauled, and so it'll be interesting to see if things have changed. I will get straight into it and show you the sets that we are interested in messing with. Okay, so here we have our great swords. This is going to be the bulk of our testing. We're going to be testing great sword with health augment level one. Uh, I guess I'll show that it's health augment one, health three gen one, health three gen two, and no other buffs, and health three gen three. Then we'll be testing health three gen one, but with external buffs. And by external buffs, I mean armor skills and like items and stuff. I'm going to be using Might Seeds, Might Powders, Demon Drugs. Uh, I've got Attack Boost on the set, Non-Elemental Boost on the set. Whereas for internal buffs, I have none of that. But what I do have is an augmented weapon. I've augmented it and custom modded it and added all the attack I can. Just to see if the internal buffing, like via augments, and the external buffing via buffs, I want to see if those contribute differently to the way health augment works. And I've got one stacked with both. <laughs> just, just for good measure. After that, we've got an Insect Glaive test, as well as a Dual Blades test. The Dual Blades and the Insect Glaive test are to test the cooldown. They've introduced a cooldown now, so that every, if, if you do lots of hits in a row, depending on how close they are to each other, they won't all proc the health regen, and I kind of want to test what the cooldown is. I've got one for Bow to that effect too. And then lastly, we've got a test using, well, we've got a, the same greatsword without Handicraft. I'm going to whittle this down to blue sharpness, and see if the if the numbers heal depend on the sharpness modifier. And so that is a summary of everything we plan on testing. Uh, I've got a video coming up eventually regarding recovery up and armor skills and how they affect this, but I'm going to save that for the Does It Stack series that I'm running. Um, so be sure to sub for that if you're uh, if you're interested. But yeah, I will cut now to some footage. We are here, so now I'm going to put on my Health Augment level 1 Greatsword set. Just to prove that there aren't any other skills at play here. We can see Health Regen 3, that's it. And we can see Handicraft 4, that's it. That's just to mean I have to sharpen less. That's the only reason I have Handicraft. So, what we're going to do, in fact I should show you this too, is we have a standardized item set. And in fact we have two. We have one that has no none of the armor charms, armor talons, or buff items, and one that does have them. This is meant for the test that, that test external buffs that we were talking about earlier. But for now, we're going to pop this on. And what we're going to do is max potion to get to 150 health. Grab ourselves some slinger ammo. Mega barrel bomb. Regular barrel bomb. Small barrel bomb. Ideally, we've got to standardize this, this process. We want to try and beat the same health value every time. I mean, within reason. If, you know, the two health ticks that came from not using the small barrel bomb fast enough make the difference between, you know, two types of health augment, then there probably isn't that much of a difference there to begin with, so it's probably not worth considering. But anyway, this is the health we're at. We're going to get vaguely close to full, but we're not going to go to full to prevent overshoot. Uh, for now, I'm just going to test with level 1 unsheathing attacks, and we're going to see how much damage we inflict, how many hits we do, and, and see how it goes. I think that's good enough. That's a decent place to end. 1,452 damage we inflicted over the course of 11 hits, and that's how much health we ended up at. So now let's repeat the test, but using a different move to see if the motion values make a difference. So we will. Heal up to full. A little bit delayed there. We will wait for this health to regen. There we go. Okay, and now this time we will spam, I suppose... Well, let's see, yeah, let's see if it's the motion, but let's see if it's the number of hits that counts or if it's the actual damage you do. So let's get to 1,450 damage, but this time using heavier moves. So we'll use the level 3 charge instead. <laughs> Makes 12. 
There we go, and you can see it's vaguely the same amount of health. Whereas there we only used 5 attacks, and in the previous one we did about 14 or so. Uh, so it's pretty clear that it depends on the actual damage itself, and not the number of hits you inflict. So that's good to know. I'm just doing the Wyvern Ignition as a sort of baseline for comparison. Uh, you can see here we've got one of the old health regen augments, and our set is just Handicraft. I'm now going to get myself down to the exact same health as we were in the previous tests. Now remember, 1450 was the number we were getting to on the other great swords. 1450 damage it required to heal us back to full health from this range. And it seems like we're getting more health back with this health augment. Which, funnily enough, is kind of what you'd expect, isn't it? Given that the number damage numbers have gone up, and that they're not using motion values. There we go. Perfect, that's what we were before. That was 1083. Interesting. So it's still a lot lower than what we were getting previously. Now, uh, I can let you in on what sort of health values we were looking at before. Um, I might have a screenshot of this, I might not. I measured it in in, a, in, a, in, a, in an image editing software. And we had roughly 25% of our health at the start of all of these experiments. 25% of 150 points of health is 75 over 2, is roughly 40, let's just say. So we were starting with 40 points of health um, and ending at 150. We were ending at slightly below 150, but I just rounded up, so it's fine, whatever. 110 is the amount of health we were healing. Now, as you'll notice, our damage total was 1,083. And we know that the old health augment uh, was 10%, which is exactly what we found, isn't it? 10% of that is 108. Um, vaguely 110, and obviously accounting for rounding errors and stuff, that adds up completely. The next thing we will test is whether or not the weapon choice makes a difference. So 1450 damage was what roughly took us back to full health. Let us repeat the test, but with the insect glaive. There we go. And we're vaguely in the same vicinity of HP, maybe slightly less because of rounding down errors from the Kinsect. But it's so similar that I don't think it's worth investigating the difference in like pixel values there. So I think it's fairly safe to say that it's the same between weapons too, which is perfect. Now we will try bow, and this is sort of going to bring me on to our first interesting point. So far this has been mostly an introduction. But if we move on to bow, And the name of this set is maybe a bit of an indication of what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so we're slightly less. Let's see how much how much damage it takes for us to get to the same value. I haven't unlocked the water on this bow because I want to keep the damage numbers small so it's easy to get to exactly what we need to get to. As I'm sure you can tell, we're not getting anywhere near as much HP back as we should be. And that has nothing to do with the defense on this set, by the way. You see, we're already exceeded the previous combo value. What's happening here is these three hits and two hits that are going at the same time, these four hits that are activating at the same time, these only count uh, one of the shots as, as in, ter in terms of like returning your health. Essentially what happens is there is a cooldown build into it, and it's a very small cooldown. It's of like maybe a, f a few milliseconds. We'll work it out exactly in a bit. But what it means is that these five arrows that hit it basically the exact same time they, only the first of them actually counts for health regeneration. Which is why we're seeing this large disparity between the total damage in the previous combo. Despite having nowhere near as much health. I think this illustrates the point. If we move on to, to uh, dual blades, it'll make a lot more sense too. You'll be able to see it in action a bit more clearly. Keep a careful eye on the HP bar now as I'm doing this next test. What you will notice is that the hits of the dual blade don't all correspond to one piece or don't all correspond to one piece of healing each usually it is but some of the attacks that occur closer together actually only count uh, the first in terms of healing you'll see the health bar you can see how many times it goes up by 
So yeah, if, if we demon dance, keep an eye on the health bar, and what you'll notice is that not every hit restores health. See? I'll do it again. I'll do the spin. You can sort of see it there too. But I'll proceed to keep demon dancing. And what we'll do is we'll demon dance up to the correct amount of HP. Or we'll just attack up to the same amount of HP. No, we'll demon dance. And we'll see how much damage we inflicted in total. There we go. I think that's about right. 2,500. Obviously, we're substantially over the mark. And that is again because this cooldown is coming into play. So... We have now established what the cooldown is on the attacks. As you've seen, it is very quick. It really only affects moves that either occur super quickly or moves that occur simultaneously. Things like the spread shots on your bow or your the demon dance as well, even though it's not entirely like there are though that flurry of attacks is probably one of the quickest in the game. Um, mostly it's meant to counteract attacks that occur at the same time. But anyway, now that we've got that out of the way. We will take a look at the actual stats on Health Augment itself. The only reason I prioritize that stuff is because I'm pretty sure that's what people are interested in seeing. Um, that's sort of the main thing, the cooldown they introduced, people, people were really interested in, in how that worked. But anyway, we've done Dragrass level 1 Health Augment. There we go, that's where we were before. 1204 damage. Okay, so it's definitely gone down. Maybe not by as much as we would expect. It was from 1450 to 1200. So we're talking, what, roughly a 20% increase on the previous level of the skill? So now we'll move on to Health Augment level 3. I'll probably run these tests a few more times each, but I'll do that in my own time and not waste yours. Maybe one more kick. There we go, that seems about right. Yeah, okay. So somewhere in the region of 980 damage. I have put together a spreadsheet with the data that we found. Um, I just want to clarify, because I've, I've skipped out on a bunch of tests. Uh, I was mentioning things like messing with sharpness modifiers and, uh, and, and things like sort of testing if crits affect it or not, and I did do all of those tests. I ran them all, but the problem is they all just sort of gave us the same conclusion. And I don't know, it didn't seem like it was worth putting it in the video. If you're interested in seeing that footage, let me know. I could like release it as, an, as sort of addendum. Uh, but basically all you need to know from those tests is that it's the afflicted damage that counts. If you do 1000 damage with health augment 1 on your weapon, you're going to get 75 points of health. Doesn't matter if you got there via might seeds and demon powders or weapon augments or because you had elementless in your set and a bunch of armor skills. It, it, it doesn't matter. None of that none of that matters. Doesn't matter if you have a full crit build and and it's because of the crits, you know. It, 1000 damage is 1000 damage as far as the game is concerned. It's based purely on the amount of damage you deal, and 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 sort of not as I expected. Uh, I thought I assumed it would be based on like motion values and stuff, but it's not. It's it's based purely on just how much damage you're dealing to the enemy. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's talk about the two main tests: the cooldown. Thank you for waiting patiently, uh, and the actual health steal of the augments. So you have to remember these are all statistical numbers, they're all subject to change, there's rounding errors and everything can get kind of fucked up. So there's there's some degree of leniency here. None of these numbers are super confirmed. But uh, I, I watched a bunch of demon dances and I counted the times between them in frames, between all the various hits. And don't inter you don't need to worry exactly what this means. This was recorded at 30 FPS, which is why uh, it's, it's sort of 6 frames becomes 0.2 seconds. But yeah, what what you'll notice is that for okay, so for example, what this data means is uh, after eight frames, the first so the first hit occurred which healed me, then after eight frames a second hit occurred, 
and that healed me. Another three frames passed since that heal, and that didn't heal me. So three frames wasn't enough. Then another three frames passed. You can see these two are the same. So another three frames passed. So I count that as six. I'm counting time since the last heal, basically. So even though it's three frames since the last hit, because the last hit didn't heal you, and the last hit took three frames to occur, it's been six frames since you got healed or last. And obviously this is the best way to look at the cooldown. This is sort of just makes sense as the appropriate way. Um, and I've listed out whether or not they hit you and whether or not they didn't. Um, this six plus occurs because there's like a one frame. Don't worry about that too much. But basically what I found was that you wouldn't get healed if it was six frames unless there was one missed hit in the middle. But you would get hit healed if it was seven frames or eight frames. So I'm pretty comfortable saying six is the cooldown and sort of seven is where you can start healing again. Six frames at my 30 FPS recording speed represents 0.2 seconds or uh, 12 frames uh, inside the game at 60 FPS. Hey, sorry, you probably noticed a shortcut there. It's because I accidentally got this number wrong. I put 960 instead of 980. Uh, you can go back and check the recording. We, we, we conclude this was around 980. I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go over this entire section again now, just, just, just in case I can't use the previous take. So regarding the three new levels of health augment uh, and the original health augment, Remember, for these tests, we were restoring roughly 110 points of health. We took a max potion, which took our health bar up to 150, and we left it roughly 25% full. So we ended up healing 110 points worth of health. That took around 1100 damage. So I just want to say, these numbers are all like sort of hand wavy. There's a lot of rounding errors here. There's, a, there's you know, and obviously I was, I was, I didn't measure pixel perfectly. And even then measuring the pixels isn't the best way of, of knowing things. So th th these numbers are subject to be slightly, slightly different. Which is why I'm more than happy to round this up to sort of 1100 or whatever and say that that's 10% health steal. I did the same thing with the damage numbers in the health steals. I found sort of what the most appropriate guesses would be. We found around 1450 damage for level 1 health augment would restore us 110 points. We found 1200 at level 2 and we found that we only had to do around 980 once we leveled up to level 3. These represent health steals of roughly 7.5%, 9%, and 11.25% respectively. What you'll notice straight away is that the first level of the new health augment is 25% weaker than the first level of the old health augment. This seems like a nerf, but it's really not. Because you have to remember, as we discussed, these work based on afflicted damage. And in endgame, we're doing a lot more damage than we used to back in, back in, in high rank. You know, our damage numbers are bigger, so we're getting healed by more. And so actually, it's sort of works out to be similar. Now in terms of effectiveness, I've rated this 7.5% as a sort of 100% base effectiveness. Upgrading that to level 2 nets you a 20% boost to your health recovery. You'll be recovering health sort of uh, an extra 20% faster. Which is okay, but I don't know if it's worth the extra 2 slots. Third level of health augment, 11.25% healing is 50% better than the first level. Which is pretty good. Uh, you know, you'll be recovering health 50% faster, basically. It's, it's, it's quite a substantial boost. Um, but at the same time, that's seven slots. That's only on rare 10, uh, only on rare 10 weapons and uses every single slot. I'm, I'm not convinced. And the other thing is you have to consider that if you use these augments to level up health boost, uh, health augment, sorry, you could have just spent that on augmenting attack. And that would inherently have gained you more health regenerated because you'll be doing more damage. It wouldn't be this as much as this, of course. It would be in the cup, in the sort of units of percentage rather than the tens. But uh, it's it's all stuff to consider. Anyway, as usual, I'm not here to tell you how to play. I'm here to give you the information. You can make that decision yourself. I hope these numbers made sense. So to summarize, the cooldown on health augment procs is around 0.2 seconds, 12 frames if you're running at 60 FPS. If your attacks are hitting faster than that, then you're going to be getting screwed. And obviously, if your attacks are simultaneous, like, you know, bro bow spread shots, for example, um, you're only going to be getting healed for the first of those hits. Regarding the new health augments themselves, level 1 tends to get you about 7.5% health steal, level 2 about 9%, and level 3 about 11.25%, though keep in mind these numbers can vary. And lastly, always bear in mind, that the health regenerated is based on the inflicted damage. It's not necessarily the motion values or which weapon you're using or whatever. It's just the numbers that you're putting out there, the damage that you're doing to the monster, that's how much you're getting. A percentage of that is how much you're getting healed by. I hope that makes sense. I hope you have a lovely day.
Uh, this video took me absolutely ages. Uh, there's a lot of scrapped footage here of things that I tested but didn't bother putting in because they weren't interesting. Um, this little summary table here, all the other tests, this is like probably 80% of the tests. and So you've only seen 20% and you've seen how long this video is already. This one took me a lot of effort. Please consider sort of sharing it around if anybody's curious about how health augments work. Uh, like, sub, comment and stuff. I don't know, I always feel weird saying that. Ugh. Anyway, I love you guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.